Oh boy. Who won it with us? Who won it? Hmm. This should be easy work. So I thought. Ah, God. How does she warp like that? I forgot Mexi doesn't have the range. Mmm, get out my ring. Stay out. Seen Kilik had succeeded in fighting off his attacker as well. Though relieved, Maxi was puzzled at his feelings. Perhaps he really had forgotten about Kilik. Maxi suddenly felt dizzy and fell to his knees. This evil energy, it can't be. Maxi, I must cleanse it at once. Maxi immediately stopped Kilik and steadfastly refused. He needed power to accomplish his objective. Continue traveling with Kilik. Chase Kilik away. Let's continue traveling with Kilik. For some reason, Maxi felt exhausted, exhausted, and his strength would not recover. It seemed that it was caused by a fragment of the cursed sword within his body suddenly becoming active. Kilik had originally urged Maxi to allow him to purchase from his body, but he had since given up and now followed Maxi without speaking any more of it. In truth, Kilik's A played a large part in making it possible for Maxi continue, to continue his journey. Following the rumors of the appearance of Agstroth, the three of them had now come to an island, a country in the eastern sea. Oh, we gotta fight Tacky. This should be worth my while. Well, at least your stance is correct. Lord, please. Why is my strength low? My health is low. Hold on. My health is way lower. What the? No. I knew I was going to lose. I put up a good effort, though. I'm about to say. If I start off with half my health or something. No. I must have been. Oh. Ah! There's no way Tech is winning this time. Chill out. Chill. You'll chill. Chill. Ah! Dang it. I hate it when they do that. I really hate it when they do that. When the computer thinks you're gonna win, but he comes back and just beasts on you when he has like little to no health left. God! St stop, stop, stop. Just stop. Yeah. Okay, I got her this time. Goodness. You're not one to talk, Maxi. Come back to Shrine Ruin. It seemed that Astroth appearing in Japan was nothing more than a rumor. Maxi's condition had not improved, and it was only his desperation that kept him going. Eventually hearing a rumor that a black giant had reappeared, Maxi headed for the temple of the Heretical Call and finally encountered the monster again. Refusing Kelix offered to fight together, Maxi faced off alone against his enemy. The warrior of Carnage flails his axe and bellows his war cry. <laughs> this is good. Come on. I'll strangle the life out of you. Versus Come on, Astroth. You're dead this time. No. None of that around here. Dang it, I thought I had him. Okay, chill. Stop getting fancy. God! No! Okay. Dang, you could carry him over your shoulder like that? Yeah, get out of here. Mmm. That was deep. 
After defeating Estroth, his sworn enemy, Kilik coll Maxi collapsed to the ground. Kilik frantically rushed over him, and Maxi smiled weakly in his arms. Once Maxi had accomplished his goal, he had thought that he could die without regret, but it seemed he had been wrong. Now he wanted to recover the memories he had lost for the sake of his new goal. He first needed to do something about his body. Continue the journey to destroy Soul Edge, the source of evil. Let's go visit Killick Master. Huh. Maxi decided to travel deep into the Himalayan mountains to see Killick's master, a man who said who said uh, possessed great powers and purification. Killick led the way. Just as they approached Hermitage, the two of them sensed that someone was nearby, someone with clearly malicious intent. Maxi and Killick communicated with a glance. Each took up a fighting position. The enemy is great in numbers. They should split the task of defeating the enemy between the two of them. The fighters face a gruesome. You're gonna regret this. It's too late to cower in fear. Versus Fuma Ninja. Fuma Ninjas. Why is my strength low? You turn around, Maxi. Turn around. Okay. I hate when they do that. None of that. Okay, I recovered some of my health. No, don't show off. I know y'all missed that. The enemy had been well trained, keeping the guard up. Maxi and Killix safely arrived at their destination. According to Killix's master, the fragment of Soul Edge was now completely part of Maxi's body, and that was the cause of the memory loss. He then proclaimed the only way to purge it was to destroy the cursed sword itself. Pursuing information about Soul Edge, Maxi and Killix succeeded in picking up the trail of the Azur Knight, one, the one that said to wield the cursed sword. Telling him they arrived at the cathedral in a remote area. The two had split up to scout out the entrances, but Maxi suddenly and dashed inside upon hearing the sound of steel clashing upon steel. Someone was engaged in battle with the wielder's soul edge, the Azur Knight. Okay, I can't tell who definitely is gonna win. I want Nightmare though. My nightmare is better than Siegfried, so he should win. No! I hate fighting Siegfried. I really do. It just it just sucks to fight him. If you're after the sword, don't expect to get past here alive. Sorry to keep you. You're up next. What do you mean I'm up next, bruh? Why I gotta fight with low strength? This is not fair. But I'm getting him, though. Oh, first try. Let's go. All right. 